Welcome back. It's been a while. This is uh, Here to Clicks. I'm going to be doing a Avengers 60th case unboxing. I have a full case here. Just came in uh, today. And uh, I also have two of the three kits. I'll be getting the third kit uh, tomorrow, so I'll do those tomorrow as well. I uh, apologize. I haven't been uh, doing a lot recently. It's been I don't know, a pretty down few months. I just lost my wife there. Um, she lost her battle to cancer after 15 years, so it's been a little tough, but maybe this will bring a little bit out of it. We'll see what we can get here. So I'm just uh, trying to get back into things and back into life. Um, also, I did was able to find in my pile of stuff um, three of the figures that are getting legacy cards. One of them there, the Captain America, is in the Captain America Play at Home kit, um, which is nice. The other two, Wasp and Ant-Man, are uh, in the the team of Pact slash uh, Legacy card um, kits, so they're on top of the bricks. So, let me get this set up here. Pull this down. Open it up, and we'll start with the first one. And brick number two. Um, I do want to give a shout out to WizKids here for a couple of things that they've changed over the past few bricks. Uh, number one, the shrink wrap. Having WizKids on it now. So no more um, people on eBay or on uh, other third-party websites repackaging boosters and trying to sell them as a brick that isn't an actual brick from WizKids. Also, on top of the um, boosters themselves, as you can see, WizKids tape. So, you know, if they've been tampered with again as well there. So, thank you, WizKids. That's a, a great security thing and, and something to make things a little bit better for the people buying the bricks and feel safer about it. So, yeah. That's a brilliant witch kids, as uh, Scott Crampton would say. Pull off the legacy cards here. And then open the brick. So I will be doing it in mapped order. So if you are mapping bricks, you can see what's happening here. This was the front brick of the case. And first we'll do the legacy card. All right, so we got the Thor team-up card. All the team-up cards in this are for the chases, so it's nice that we pull those. And we got Loki as the legacy card. So not one I had, but we'll see what we wind up getting. I might be able to pick one of him up or trade the card for one of the figures I do have. I'm still looking, of course, for Squirrel Girl. I want her. I do have extra Captain Americas, Ant-Mans, and Wasps, so I might be able to trade for Squirrel Girl. And then the Ultimate one that I'm looking for, of course, is Ultron. So to pull this card would be great because this card's going for crazy money right now. So, second set of legacy cards we got. Oh, a Kid Thanos team up, which is a great team up. You can have him bolt in, but he could be fun. And Ms. Marvel. So we got another one I do not have, but um, we'll see you again. Trade bait. All right, let's get on to the boosters. And as I was saying, something that I really liked was. You see the WizKids tape here on the tops of the boosters, so you know if they've been tampered with, which is nice. So starting at the front, as you're looking at it left, 
we have Spider-Man Robot. We have oh, Monica Rambeau. So we have our first super rare. And we have Stinger, Hulk, and we have Black Panther. So good look at him here. We'll pull out Monica. Seventy point PD Avengers, which is a great new team ability. Um, if you hadn't noticed, they did change the team abilities. Uh, let me pull hers out so we can read it again real quick. And also in these um, sets, last time we got with a Spider-Man set, we got hit cards. In this one, we're getting uh, Avengers through the ages cards. So this one is from the 1970s. And if we look at, on Monica Rambeau's card here, if we go look at the Avengers team ability, it's now for all friendly characters with this team ability at the beginning of the game, choose a team ability. This character modifies attack plus one when attacking one or more characters with a chosen team, printed team ability on their, or sorry, chosen team ability printed on their base. So that's new for the Avengers. Um, that makes it really good, especially if you're playing up against a theme team. You can just pick, you know, what they have. Spider-Man robot's pretty cool. Hulk, of course. Uncommon, Stinger, and then Black Panther. All right, second booster. All right, our first character is Black Widow. Then we have an Ant-Man, which plays well with Stinger. We do have the... Um, War Machine, which is a really great sideline piece. He comes in if any Stark Industries character takes damage. Uh, we have Jocasta. And, oh, well, maybe not going to chase in this brick, but I did get a very good Prime Thor. This is a super rare Prime Thor. Great sculpts on these now, if you notice. They're just, it's just amazing what they've done with these. They've gotten so much better. Paint jobs, sculpts, everything. So we'll put him over here. So that's two super rares and the first two boosters. And just to show his card off real quick here. Time to sharpen my knife. This one was for the 2010s and then Thor. And he's got a billet here, Pulse Wave. When Thor uses it and the attack roll is doubles, hit opposing characters at all three damage instead. He's got his Guardian Avengers, Deity, and Warrior. And he's Cosmic and Mystics. So. And then this War Machine I was talking about, he's got a sideline active trait once per game for all characters with this trait. When a friendly character with a Stark Industries keyword is damaged by an attack after resolutions, you may generate War Machine on your sideline on click four adjacent to the character. If War Machine started this game due to this trait, flip the card, when he would take damage instead, remove him from the game and your opponent scores 10 points instead of his full point value. So very important there. That he's you're only you're bringing him in. Worst case, you're gonna lose ten points on him there. So again, pretty pretty good there. Third booster. We're doing the front one, second from the left. All right. This one starts with looks like Monica. Chang, yes. Then we have an Uncommon Grandmaster. We have Iron Man. We have Militant. And we have Vision. And I think Militant is our rare in that one. Get a good look at him here. All right, 
second from the left back. I will probably let on a little screw if I do catch the uh, Ultra Chase. We have Winter Soldier. We have Doctor Strange. Who's our rare in this set? And this both booster, we have uh, Jessica Jones, which is pretty strong. Uh, Moonstone, another super rare, and Korvac. So three super rares so far. One of them's a prime. There's Moonstone. Another great sculpt. Even the uncommons in this set. Have had really good skulls. You take it, uh, some of them is just crazy. All right, now we're going to go to the fifth booster halfway through this brick. We're in the front middle. And first one is Hydra Agent. You're going to need a lot of him to be generated. The Uncommon Thanos, who is a beast and sealed. We have Captain Marvel. We have Falcon, and we have another Vision. Really cool looking Falcon too, little wings on that one. And then of course Thanos, just big boy. And of course Falcon was our rare. All right, sixth booster. I'm trying to get these faster, sorry. Just got tied down by some of those ones I pulled already, which are pretty cool. Of course, looking for the Prime Hulk. He's just like one of the best pieces, I think, in the set. Oh, uh, well, here we have a Scarlet Witch. We have an Abomination. We have a Captain America who decided to try to escape. He's a robot. We have a Collector, and we have a Winter Soldier. So nothing special here. Um, Abomination is our rare. He's a pretty good-looking sculpt again as well character was great in uh, She-Hulk. All right. Number seven. We're now second from the right front. I believe you keep in track and keep the score at home. All right. First one is Spider-Man Robot. Then we have Tactical Force. He's our rare. He's going to be another one of the uh, Hydra Four. We have Jessica Jones. We have, oh, a super rare star brand. So three super rares and a super rare prime in this one. There's star brand if you haven't seen her. She's pretty deadly. She's got a thing where against cosmics, she has plus one to all of her um, uh, combat values. And if she's being attacked by a cosmic, plus one to all of her combat values. And if she makes a range attack, um, Everybody within two becomes a target of that range attack. She did pretty well for me in Sealed. So three super rares and a... Uh, shut this a bit here, sorry. There we go. Three super rares and a uh, super rare prime. New super prime, yeah. Crazy. Good brick so far. Eighth brick, or eighth booster, second from the right back, and in this one we get Luke Cage, uncommon. Oh, sorry about that. Quasar as our rare. Uh, we're going to go through this one again just so I can edit it right. We have Luke Cage, we have Quasar, we have Stinger. We have Jocasta, and another one of the Hydra 4. This time we've got Bowman. Last two boosters. We're going to the, number, the ninth one, right front. And we're starting out with... Hydra Agent, which we need plenty of. Here's the other bad boy in Sealed. The Beyonder as an uncommon. 
We do have an Ultron drone, so this is a good generic pack. We need both of those, plenty of the drones, of course. We also have Leader and the Gray Hulk. So this is the Rare Hulk 37A. We also, we definitely want 37B Hulk. Major's mind control is crazy. All right, here we go. Last booster of this brick. Not expecting much since I got the all the Super Rares and Super Rare Prime there. So we did get a Captain America. We got a Hellcat. We got a Black Widow, it looks like, yep. Yeah. We got Screaming Mimi, and we got Bats. So, overall, first brick goodness. Let's get the second one opened up. New setting on my camera here. This is 4K, so for some reason it uh, decided it wanted to split the video file on me, so I'm going to have to make an edit in here, but hey, not a big deal. not to drop them here. Go. All right, here we go. Right at it. First one, front left. We start off with an uncommon Thanos. Saw him on the end. We have a another war machine. We have a vision. We have a red She-Hulk. And we have another Ultron drone. Again, need those drones. Back left. And I said we needed Ultron drones. Got an Ultron drone. Got a Falcon. Got an Ant-Man. Got a, another red She-Hulk, and we got a Black Panther. So starting off with some generics in the front here, but not uh, nothing special as far as rare super rares. So we got here. I mean, nothing super rares and chases or anything. All right, second from the left front. Can't miss his big green head. We have the leader first. Then we have the Tactical Force, Hydra 4, Captain Marvel. Oh, we have a Super Rare, Absorbing Man, and we have Winter Soldier. So, Super Rare, Absorbing Man. Second from the left back. We have Monica Chang, Ant-Man, Luke Cage, Beyonder, and Doctor Strange. Fifth booster, middle front. So nothing in the first four boosters of the set to really... Oh, I'm sorry, it was Orbing Man. We do have a super rare. So here we got Monica Chang. We got Jessica Jones. We got Misty Knight. We got Abomination. And we got... A Chase. Pulling out here. We got the Iron Inquisitor. As our chase. And 
and pull his card real quick for you. Iron Inquisitor, he's one of the Multiversal Masters of Evil. I did pull in pre-release the Doom Supreme, so I can, if I don't want to use the team-up card that I got with him, I can switch him with this one. Free if Iron Inquisitor began your turn on the map, replace him with another character with this trait on the same click number. So it's really neat that you can just keep swapping these guys out, kind of like the Dooms from before. Um, it's pretty neat, you can keep swapping them out as you go through the game. And he has Dark Industry, so he could bring in that uh, War Machine if he got hurt. All right, number six, middle back. Still a chance at a prime, maybe? Or two more super rares here. First one is Captain Marvel, Spider-Man Robot. We have a Scarlet Witch. We have a Misty Knight, and we have an Ultron, rare Ultron, who can call in the drones. Dropping everything here. All right. Number seven, second from the right front. Is he green? Is he green? Base? No! But it's the very tiny head Hulk. Next to Thanos. Next to Iron Man next to the Grey Hulk again, and a Hydra Agent. Number eight. Stacking up over there, guys. Alrighty. Looks like a Black Widow. Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, uh, Korvac, and Militant. Two left. Both super rares, maybe? Because I've only gotten one super out of this one so far, right? Yep. A super and a chase. Let's see what we get in this one. Maybe a prime. Happy for that Hulk. All right, first one's Bowman. Then we have Captain America. We have Bats the Wonder Dog. We have a Jocasta. And we have, oh, we did get a Super Rare. One that I've been wanting. That's potentially extremely broken. Uh, if you play multiples over, you could make a team that can never be attacked. Uh, Clea, Sorcerer Supreme. Put all your characters around her, perplex down her range to two, and then nobody outside of two can attack her. Or any of them. So very good super rare I've been wanting. All right, last booster. What's going to happen? Are we going to get a super rare? Are we going to get Hulk Prime? Are we going to get Mephisto? Or are we going to get none? Let's see what we got here. All right, first one is Black Panther, Bowman. We have Stinger. We have Korvac. And we have Screaming Mimi. So this one had two super rares and a chase. Unless I missed one here. Um, but I don't think I did. Is any other super rares? I'll go back through and look a little later on, but I don't think I missed anything. If you saw it and I didn't, put it in the comments. Um, and I'll be doing the play at home kits tomorrow uh, when I get all the rest of those. And then also, what I'm going to wind up doing is um, I did pick up an extra um, Spider Man from the release, uh, release day kit last month or two months ago and I'll be putting that up in a giveaway. I'll show it off and put it up in a giveaway and hopefully I might be able to pick up uh, one of the 
um, Hawkeyes from this set. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, if I can put it up there, I will. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, like, subscribe. I'm getting close to that hundred. It's starting to make me itch a little bit there. <laughs> It'd be nice. But again, thank you so much. Thank you for the patience. Again, I apologize for not getting more stuff out sooner, but uh, here we are. We've got this one and hopefully we have a lot of fun playing this set. Uh, and we'll see what's coming up. And then uh, we'll go over, like I say, the play-at-home kits with all the terrain. I'll do a highlight on all the terrain that's coming in those sets. Thank you very much.